guys, it's Casey. So today is June the June twelfth. I keep thinking it's June tenth. Uh, it's June the twelfth, and today I'm back with another vlog. So by telling you guys, technically you guys are on the floor right now. I'm trying to do some stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be start doing more vlogs. Like it's summertime now and by you guys can tell like I'm wearing leggings you know when we were soft and my shirt goes like this so it's like this is a bandeau under but my shirt goes like this so it's like this guys goes down right here and cut like this it's very easy it's very light if you guys are just wondering like what you just seen that's like the line across no, I didn't have no surgeries or anything. If you guys know this, in some videos, if I fix my shirt or anything, it's just when I was younger. If you guys don't know my age, I'm 18, turning 19 in September. And what happened was when I was younger was um, I used to wear really, 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 really tight stuff tight to me. So I used to wear like, no, I need to get up in better light. I used to wear really, like really tight jeans and like really skinny skinny jeans but used to have circulation down by my stomach but I used to wear like really I used to wear like really tight shirts too like I used to wear constantly every day when I was young I used to wear like it's from our jeans you go to our jeans it's these, um, tank tops. So they're like this, but they're a little bit shorter than this. But it's like, a little bit see-through in the front, but it's like, nice wrap, nice in back. But I used to wear them all the time. But I used to wear push-up bras, too, that cost damage. And I used to wear bras to bed. Technically, I had to stop wearing bras to bed. Every girl should never wear a bra to bed. You could wear a sports bra, but make sure there's no wire in it. But that's why... Well, like right here it's a cost damage but a little bit up here too so mostly down there on my bum low it's and down there it's a little bit I have like a flat area because from when I was younger so hopefully this light is better here so Trying to fix my shirt, guys. This does not help. There you go. Okay. Uh, but yeah. And. So yeah. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, is I'm just sitting down. Not my cell phone. Uh, not doing anything. Mostly looking outside. It's really nice out today, guys. Let's see. Let's turn on some music. Now she can't sing your own. Trying to keep him warm. Trying to keep out the cold. When he looks in her eyes, you don't. Bleh. guys wondering if I'm wearing makeup but technically it looks like a little bit of makeup and I'm kind of look I kind of look pale right now it's because technically in face to face if you see me I'm not pale I'm a little bit pale but not very much pale I do have like a little bit brown into me I think everyone's got a little bit brown into them it depends on your background and your history and your it depends what color you are, what skin color you are. You could be brown, you could be black, you could be purple, you could be any color. But for me, I'm 
I got a little bit brown into me. I'm half a little bit Indian, so into me. So I'm a little bit pale, but I have to get back out in the sun. But where I live, guys, we've been, I say, for months since November. We had shitty weather. And it's only been a week. We've been having beautiful weather. It's been sunny, the sun's been coming down. But for me, I've been sleeping in, so I've never been outside very much. So, yeah. Plus, guys, another thing is, if you guys never welcome to my main channel yet, I mentioned on my main channel, main channel, I, um, I tried to, I told you guys that I was getting a job. And I got the phone call, and I got accepted for a job for this month on the 28th. So, I'm so happy about that. I start on 28, but this week, I'm going camping. Can't freaking wait going camping. So, yeah. Can you go in? Like, go do something. Like Get my muscles back. <sighs> it's a funny story, guys. I gotta tell you. I was at the doctor, and if you guys didn't know, every three months, I girls we're gonna have talk talk now. Um, so I'm on birth control. If you guys are wondering which one am I, there's different ones. So I'm on the needle. So I get a needle every three months. So it's been like this for a year and something. I've been getting a needle. So because for me, I'll explain to you guys why I got a birth control needle. I got a birth control needle because at the time I was in a relationship and I was with the guy I was with for almost three years. To get to a point is he cheated on me and for no fucking reason. He's a he's a dumb fucking asshole. He knows who he is. <laughs> he can die in a hole. I don't give too dumb shit. Um, but I've been on it for a year and a half, so once I got rid of him, I stayed on it. Because number one, my doctor told me that, because my parents used to be a nightmare. I couldn't go to school, couldn't go anywhere, miss weeks and tops of days of school. I think the f most I missed was four months of school. A lot. Couldn't move out of my bed. Curl up in the ball. I had to have a pillow between my legs or I felt like something was jabbing my stomach. Um, so I got into that because periods used to, my period used to make me pat. Every time I did go to school, I always black out. Everything went black, I couldn't see, so it, everything turned black, and I would just collapse on the floor and black out. Yes, it's not normal, guys. Went to get checked for diabetes or anything. No, it wasn't that. It was, um, that's my period. I was losing a lot of fluid. But I did drink, and I did eat a lot. But what happened was, I just, I, <laughs> but what happened was, I was losing a lot of things down there, but it was causing it my body to go screwed up, I'm kind of trying to say. Um, so when, the, when I got back on, the, when I got on the birth control, um, it took about two, three days for the birth control to kick in my system and uh, helped a lot, a lot. Um, but at the time I used to have my periods for two to three weeks. If you guys are wondering how long I have my period for, I have my periods for seven days. So it's a week. So if I start on Saturday, I won't be done till next Saturday. If I start on Sunday, I don't get off Sunday. If I start on Monday, I don't get off till next Monday. That's how it goes for me. So I never, so for me guys, I 
of Rhyme up here since end of January, the last week of January. So, it's been February, March, April, May, June. So, I had I was supposed to have my period actually last month, last week. Um, but sometimes it depends if you're stressed. I'm not stressed at all, but it could be because something is going on. I can't tell you guys that I will one of these days, but right now, I can't. So, um, no, but since I've gotten birth control, I don't have any cramps. I don't, um, I don't pass out. I don't collapse. I don't, any of that stuff happen. I do still get the cravings. I still do eat a lot. I <laughs> I think every girl goes through this. Um, we eat a lot and you gained it. I hate that. When you're on your period, you eat so much and you're hungry, 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 hungry. But you gain the weight. I hate that because I've been losing weight actually. And um, I do still be a little bit snappy on my period. Yeah. And so Good on my back. Oh. Uh, but yes, birth control is better if you're good, if you need it, mostly. Um, I wouldn't get it if you guys don't need it, but for me, I need it because what was going on with me. And used to cause a lot of stress on me with that cramps and the passing out and it. But my sister, she knew. I'll explain to you. There was a time in school and I was in grade, what? What do you say, Sammy? Grade 10? You say to my old school before I came down to where I am now. So my old school, where I lived at the, at the time. I was in grade 10 and uh, I was in school. And uh, I was in, in class in Newfoundland. Newfoundland Studies? I'm sure it was. Newfoundland Studies, yeah. Newfoundland Social Studies, or something like that. And uh, I was in class, sitting down. Now, me and the teacher got along. This was one of my favorite classes. And uh, for some reason, we were watching a video. And in the middle of the video, I started having, like, I was jabbing. This is the time I was not on uh, birth control, guys. And so I got my sister. And went to the bathroom. I wasn't feeling well, so I was getting these bad felt like someone was jabbing me and ripping out my insides. And I started getting dizzy, started seeing black, <laughs> little dots. I was like, I'm going to collapse. I'm going to collapse eight minutes. So I had to get my sister on the phone. So at the time, we called my sister, and I was like, Sammy, she was in middle class. And Sammy knew if I called, she had to answer. Cause she knew why I was like, when I was going to clunk or pass out. I could hit my head. I could, anything could happen when you're like that. And so I got my sister, and I, I can remember saying to my sister, I'm in the bathroom. She's like, what bathroom? Upstairs to downstairs. I was upstairs in the girl's bathroom. And that male, I'm not going to go in the male's bathroom. So I got my sister come in, and all I can hear was, when she came in, she seen me. I, I was just there holding the sink, and I was just like, I was like trying to keep myself calm, breathing in, breathing out. Trying, to, I was getting bad cramps, and they just got worse and worse and worse. I told my sister, I said, I feel like I'm going to faint. I said, I don't feel well. I said, I'm going to collapse, or I'm going to, to something's going to happen. I said, all I can see is black. She knew my blood sugar was going down. What was black, what happening was my blood sugar was going down because when you lose a lot of liquid, <laughs> how can I say? When you lose a lot of blood, guys, girls, um, when you lose so much blood into you, you're losing a lot of liquid inside of you. You're losing uh, water and stuff into you. So my sister, she's like, "Where can you? Do you have orange juice?" I always carried chocolate bars or health these healthy. 
bar things. I forget what they're called. Or I can always carry chocolate bars or Jolly Ranchers or something. I always had to go to the store and stack up on that stuff to make sure I was okay. But I always add juice packs in my... I always have like two or three juice packs in my book bag for that day. I always have to have something sweet. So, my sister was like, where's the juice pack and where's the bar? I was like, in the front of my book bag. I always kept everything in front of my book bag. Because if I put it in the back, it's hard for me to reach. If you were going to anything, if you collapsed and you couldn't see, you know about the feel. You could try to get something. I always found it was easier in the front. So my sister done that. And I say, once I let go, I collapsed on the floor. And uh, my sister, oh, you can... I, like, I'm on the floor, I can't move, I can't see. Now, imagine, my eyes are open, but I can't see. Like how I'm seeing now, like, my eyes are open. Just mention that, and all you can see is black. It's pitch black. You can't see anything. You can hear, but you can't see. I found it was weird. So, my sister... She, lucky she was there, um, all you can hear is her, and someone, uh, Mrs. was in the bathroom, some, I heard some people coming from in the hallway, coming into the bathroom, and they see me, I heard my sister say, back the fuck up, cause, my sister, she might act, she, she's something like me, I don't deal with bullshit, I don't, but when Sammy comes to me, once it's family, it's family. And she knew she had to do it. She knew it. I can't do anything, but you can't. You need, Your blood sugar and stuff is dropped. And I can't do anything about it. It just happened. And so she had to deal with it for me. So what happened was I can hear her, but I can't, I can't talk or I can't see. For some reason, I couldn't talk or see. That happened to me. I tried. But I was talking in my mind. Couldn't talk in my mouth. So my sister... She, all you hear someone say, call 911. Your Sammy was like, no, I know what to do. Everyone was just watching her. Like, I can hear people saying, what are you doing? What are you doing to her? And my sister was like, I'm taking a juice pack. Like, I can hear the wrapper of the juice pack. And she doing that. And she had to tip my head up and get the juice pack in my mouth. She had to put some squeeze. She never put the, she put the straw in. And she squeezed them in my mouth to get um to get some liquid into me so it went back and i say after five minutes when she did that a couple times my vision my vision came back i remember getting up slowly and there was like tons of people around my face i was like get the fuck away from my face i was like i don't I, i'm the type don't get my face and i was like get the fuck <laughs> that's how i was like and uh, my sis my sister was like casey you got to eat something so what happened was she gave me something from my book bag. I ate it. I just stay sitting down for five ten minutes, just to make sure I didn't collapse again. After got up, I was perfectly fine, but I had to wash burns water over my face, and I was kind of pale. I was really pale. What was I saying? Me? Yeah, I was kind of pale, and cause she just my teacher was kind of worried, so she came out of the bathroom. She asked me if I was fine. Sam explained to her what happened. I told her. I said, she asked me if I was fine, if I needed to go to the hospital. And then I was like, no. I said, this happens a lot. Okay, and she's like, you need to get checked. You could have diabetes. I was like, no. It's just my period. And so I finally went to a doctor and had my birth control and that stuff. They tried to get me on the pill. That didn't work. I can't swallow pills. So I got into um, the needle. It's more easier. And you don't have to remind yourself of taking something every day. It's in you. So, I did that, and since then I've been perfectly fine. I don't have to worry about anything. So, yeah. Enough talking about periods. Okay. Oh, if you guys are wondering where I got the shirt, I don't know where I got it. My mom got it for me. She was on a um, Florida trip. She was on a cruise or something, and she likes to go shopping sometimes for me. And when she sees something cute, she gets it for me. So she got something really cute for me. She got a couple of shirts actually. So yeah. Oh, 
if you guys are wondering, this is like a birthmark. Yeah, I got a birthmark. A lot of people have birthmarks. It's kind of weird because me, I have a lot of siblings in my family. Um, I'm the only one who has a birthmark. No one else, too. I'm the only one. I have all children. <laughs> Most people have birthmarks on the face or their chest or their stomach or whatever. But for me, I got my arm. People, I always get to people asking, do you plan to get surgery on your arm? No. You could get that removed. No. Why not? Because it's been there and it doesn't harm. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't harm me. Any shape and form, it doesn't hurt. If something doesn't hurt and it's not hurting me and it's just on there, for me, I really don't care. It's something I was born with. And it's going to stay there. You, I, my, Some people want it removed. That's your choice. But for me, stay in there. I, I'm not wasting money to get it removed. My choice. Um, now, if I go in the sun and it's really hot that day, I would have to put some block on it. If I don't put some block, it I could cause damage to it. So I had to put some block on. Lots of some block. This most thing I have to worry about. I always gotta make sure it doesn't change color or it get bigger. If you guys seen a picture of me when I was younger, you could see, um, there's a picture of me there, uh, with the birthmark, and you could tell it's me in the photo because it's me with the birthmark. <laughs> My sister, she was like, that's me. I was like, no, look on the arm. Do you have a birthmark? She's like, oh, it is you. I was like, yeah. If you guys are wondering, I'm not wearing makeup, I'm just wearing lipstick. That's my story, guys. I know this is supposed to be a vlog and sh me showing you guys what I do and that stuff, but I'm here, I'm talking to you guys. This is mostly what I'm doing. So, and you guys are wondering what the hell is going on behind me? It's my sister. is on my bed. She's playing with the cat with her headphones. He's not a bad kitty. You're teasing him with the headphones. He is a bad kitty. He's tuning up with the headphones any further. Well, that's one thing he chooses on. He chews. He chew. I can't fucking talk today. He chew. He chew. He bites on everything. There you go. He bites on chargers. You have to hide them. With mine, you have to hide them. Baby. Hi. Are you just staring at me? He's like, Casey, come get me. Oh my god. Wet. Did you say he's wet? What? Don't fuck around me. Sammy, he's going to claw you. You want to worry that cat claws you? He's pissed at you.
Um, weird guys. I think this is all for this vlog. I'm not gonna be doing very much. Um, so, yeah. This is mostly all I'm doing, so.